don't forget Hieronymus Bosch. He certainly was the man to watch. He took out a patent on going insane. And he's coming back to haunt my brain. You know, I live in a cave high above the mountaintops. Growing my hair longer and hiding from the cops. There's really not much reason that I'm wanted by the law. I'm merely psychopathic, it's a minor character flaw. Even Sigmund Freud lived inside of his own mind. With his id and super ego, he declared his mind to be refined. Then all three of them, they hid in one dark corner or another, trying to repress their secret lust for his mother. Right now, gonna sneak into heaven dressed up as a holy cow. But Rene Descartes once sat in a bar in Amsterdam. He drank 11 beers and said, I think, therefore I am. Well, the barman said, hey, Rene, would you like another beer? Rene said, I think not, and did promptly disappear. <laughs> hey, throw some Christians to the lions, tell the Pope to stay at home. We'll have a celebration in a cellar in Rome. And if the lions are still hungry, we can feed them Spanish rice. Christians in tomato sauce, man, that sounds mighty nice. Now, if he'd only read the writings of A. A. Mill, Sergei Eisenstein might have made a monumental film called The Great Russian Bear, starring Winnie the Pooh, with Piglet playing Lenin and Stalin played by Rue. Insane, and he's coming back.